Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to the very first, the Bold and Beautiful Review of 2024. And what a week it's already been. Um, Already some good, juicy drama and some sexiness going on in 2024. But let's go ahead and start about the big story this week. Thomas, is he a murderer or is he not a murderer? Hmm. Yes, and yes, I'm sorry. I did not do my research on this whole Emma story. <laughs> but I did get to learn a bit more about um um some stuff that happened with it or the aftermath of Emma's death or whatever. But I will be doing my research this weekend because I'm very intrigued, definitely. But anyways, um more likely probably look at somebody that did a video about it. Because I'm a lazy reader. Anyways, it's a good way to meet more bold and beautiful fans. But anyways, Talk about Thomas proposing to Hope. You know, he got down on one knee. That's nice little cliffhanger of 2023. Beautiful, beautiful ring. And Hope was just kind of like staring at it for a while. It's like, like, oh, beautiful, but uh, I don't know what to say. I'm like, girl, say something. <laughs> and um, she finally said, you know, never now. Um, she's still trying to. Um, figure out where she wants to be, really. Um, you know, she's got a marriage, you know, she's worried about her kids, her, her, um, career and everything. And I'm like, that's a very good answer. <laughs> but she didn't say no. Uh, so there's still a chance. And she didn't say yes, jumping into something that, um, probably is going to end ugly. Um, <laughs> And what everything that looks like this week uh, could be leading to could definitely end very ugly. So, <sighs> so just keep it the peace, definitely. <laughs> but um, Thomas is like, cool, so that's not no. So he's like, oh, I have an idea. You can keep the ring. I want it. Um, he's like, huh? And he puts it on her um, necklace. I was like, oh, okay. I thought he was going to like, put it on her finger still. Like, he thinks it's better this way because it's close to her heart. I'm like, oh, this is so sweet. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he was just like hugging her from behind and was talking about how she screams his name in the bedroom. I'm like, damn, Thomas be laying it down hard, though. <laughs> I, I, I assume that he does. He got that good Forster dick that got the Logan. Ladies all wrapped up. <laughs> Come on! Hope Logan's with Thomas Forrester. Brooke Logan is with Rich Forrester. And Donna Logan is with Eric Forrester. I'm just saying. The Logans love the, love the Forrester pee-pee. Um, peen. The pee-pee is such, such a childish way. Just, just say peen. Uh, magic stick. Um, let me stop thinking of words for peen. And he was like, um, oh yeah. He also says, you know, they keep emphasizing how he doesn't have eyes for another woman. So I'm like, oh lordy. Is there, no, I always wonder, um, since they always bring it up, has Thomas ever really been in love with anybody else? Like Douglas's mom or another woman or something? But, uh, he says, I would never wander to another woman because for me, it's only you, Hope. Only you. Oh, you're so beautiful. I can't cry. <laughs> and it's just the way that he was looking and they're holding each other or he's holding her. And, you know, it just goes scenes where, you know, Finn's talking to Xander about him killing Emma while Steffi is talking with Ridge and Brooke about you know, Thomas, don't want Thomas to go back to how his obsession was with Hope. It just made it just feel like uh, something really bad is about to happen. So I'm going to cherish these really, really sweet moments. Oh, uh, why well, again? <laughs> but yeah, Steffi, she went talking to Ridge, um, Steffi, and uh, Hope changed places. Hope went to go talk to um Thomas got proposed to while Stephanie went to go talk to her dad. I was just talking about, you know, going in about Thomas, about um, Hope. And she um, 
better not be in love with him and hope that, you know, <laughs> um, hope that she's not lying about wanting to be with him and stuff like that. And Brooke walks in like, oh, Lordy, we had a beautiful run without her. But, you know, she had to put her two cents in and she was, of course, hoping that, hoping Thomas would end or whatever. And I thought it was just really funny how Brooke was trying to make it seem like she actually cares about Thomas. She's like, I do care about Thomas. Oh, crap, girl. You do not care about no damn Thomas. <laughs> girl, from what I've seen in the almost two years I've been watching the show, you do not like Thomas at all. And, I mean, I don't blame you considering all the stuff I've heard that he's done to Hope and everybody else. But, you know, you are with his father, so obviously you don't mind being close to the dude, but don't sit up there and lie that you actually care about him. Because ain't nobody buying that shit. <laughs> Nobody's buying a girl. Um, Bridge this, you know, deals with it because he loves the Logan cooch. Um, their parts to go together. Oh lordy, but um, yeah, Brooke's like, yes, I'm over Steffi on this. I'm like, girl, you are not. You just don't want to be kidding. <laughs> oh lordy, yeah. And then when Brooke and Rich were alone, she was still trying to pass it off that she cares. Yeah, and they were talking about Eric again too. Um. They're saying that he's making great progress this week because in the last few weeks since he's passed out and had his surgery and stuff, they just keep saying that uh, nothing's certain, you know. Um, but he's making his markers or, you know, it's just a waiting game, got to pray and all that stuff. So it was good to see that they actually mentioned that there's something actually happened with Eric. That's good. Everybody still thinks that Eric is going to be mad at him, which I'm all for um, mad Eric. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be really cool if he just turns out to just, like, flat-out hate Ridge, which would make total sense because, you know, we see we saw that Eric, you know, was just accepted that he was dying, you know, and then they go and save him, so it's like, ugh. Yeah, and we still don't know. He could have some other problems, you know, along the line with this experimental treatment that we haven't seen yet. But I don't know. I haven't watched Golden and the Beautiful long enough to know if they would write such storylines like that. But we shall see. Um, they did do a pretty good job at making it, you know, really wonder, hmm, is Eric going to die or is he going to stay alive? Hmm. hmm. You know, I really didn't think Eric was gonna die, but the suspense was definitely like mm, maybe they could be proving me wrong. But um, <laughs> it was very it was, it was very believable that I could do that. But then again, the bar was set very very low about the storyline because you know I, I'm an avid Days of Our Lives uh, watcher, and if you ever watch Days of Our Lives, you know they kill people off and bring them back to the dead. More often than people change their underwear, so <laughs> so it was nice to see a real will they or will not will not do storyline. But anyways, it was a good nice break from the Eric stuff, um, because that's you know plagued the story for you know over a month of that. But anyways, Finn is still talking with Xander. He's pretty sure, Xander's pretty sure that Emma, that, um, Thomas killed Emma. So, and it was like the whole week, I was like, hmm, if Thomas really did, well, oh, some things came to my mind. First of all, did Thomas actually do it? It's first of all. Um, that I'm not sure. Did they ever make it, um, known that he did it? You know, he never, like, you know how they do, it's like, they do some, somebody does something, we see them do it, and we know that they did it, but other people are like, hmm, did they or did they not, you know? And he said, um, yeah, because Stephanie was saying that the police, you know, investigated and said that, you know, he's innocent. 
So, it was like, was that ever made known for certain that he did it? Or it was still up in the air? Did he or did he not do it? You know, so that's one of the questions I'm wondering to go Google to find out about. <laughs> but then, I don't know, part of me still just wants to watch it play out. But then, you know, I'm very, very curious. So, my Googling fingers will go to work, definitely. <laughs> and also, I was wondering, why did he kill Emma? You know, was Emma, um, was him and Emma in a relationship? Was him and Emma, did Emma know about, um, Beth being alive? And Thomas was, you know, killing her to silence her. But then, um, Steffi said that, um, Xander knew too. You know, that's one of the reasons why they fired him. And I was like, you fired him because he knew something about something that your brother did. Is that isn't that kind of like illegal? Couldn't he just like file a suit against them? <laughs> I don't know. So there's a lot of questions, and um, this is could end up being my favorite storyline of the year. Well, it's already starting out to be my favorite storyline of the year so far. But I'm intrigued and um, bring back some history. Um, especially, I don't know how other people felt about the story when it was told, but you know, it's intriguing me. Hmm. Did Thomas do it or did not? Yeah, so, um, Xander was just, you know, pushing in to Finn that, you know, he knows that Thomas actually did do it. And the police didn't believe him, but he knows that he did. And Finn, you know, she's asking, like, how are you sure, whatever. And Xander just feels like, you know, you know, he's talked too much about it and he was just gonna leave. So he just left Finn, so... Finn calls Steffi and had her come over and try to talk to her about it. And, you know, Steffi just seems like, you know, she's just like, no, no, he didn't do it. He couldn't do that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, does Steffi know that he did it? And it's covering up because she doesn't want her brother to go to prison. Or does she at least suspect him to have done that? And she's just surprised about the ruling that came down about it. <laughs> yeah, because she's like, it was a really sad, tragic accident. They were considering it. Um, oh, Lordy, when you drive, reckless driving. <laughs> when you drive recklessly, what does that mean? <laughs> they wrote it off as reckless driving. She turned the corner, uh, Mulholland Drive. I was like, that was like a movie. I don't think I've ever saw it then, but I just remember that name. I was like, oh. So that movie was set in that light. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's not murder. I was like, hmm. So if he drove her off the road, um, you know, where's his car? Was it ever pulled, was it, uh, totaled or beat up? Or did he use somebody else's car? How did he run her off the road? So, yeah, so I have a lot of questions running through my head. I want to find out about <clears throat> or maybe I could find those episodes on um, Paramount Plus actually I they don't have every single episode I don't think but they have episodes going back to 87 when they started well they did I don't know if they still do but they have some episodes sporadically through the years on there and I also saw some episodes on here as well um so I was trying to figure out you know, let me figure out what the year was. Or let me know, what year was this? Uh, I'm guessing it, it was pretty recent years. Um, Go back and see if I can find those episodes. That'd be really fun to binge watch. Yeah, even though I already said I was going to binge watch Young and Restless this weekend. But, um, yeah, I put that on hold again. <laughs> hold again to watch Classic Bold. I can't multitask. Find time. I'm always looking for something to watch. Anyways, I'm getting off some shit, but yeah, Steffi, well, she's trying to convince Finn that she doesn't, that, you know, Thomas definitely didn't do this. Another part, that, to me, it just looked like she wasn't so sure. She, <coughs> she's, she's like, you know, he didn't do it. No, he didn't do it. There's no way he could have did it, or maybe then the cops just got it wrong, you know. It happens, you know, people get away with murder all the time. You know, especially on soap operas. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. 
And then, um, Finn then calls Hope to go over. And I was like, Finn, why don't you go to people? Because it's obvious. I was like, it's obvious that you're not working. <laughs> so, why don't you go to people? But I guess he doesn't want to go to them because it's like, oh, Thomas might be lurking around the corner. But then again, Thomas showed up to, um, <laughs> Finn's office because while Hope goes to Finn, Stephanie goes to Thomas and tells Thomas that Xander is back in town and that um he told Finn that you killed he thinks that you killed Emma and Thomas is like, no, what? No way. <laughs> yeah, so Stephanie's just like, heads up, you know, Xander's causing trouble. So like, oh Lordy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it also makes me wonder, why did Xander come back to town anyways? He just needed a, a good doctor, I guess. And what is wrong with him that he needed a doctor's assistance? See, more questions. And I know it's like, I know a lot of my Golden Beautiful reviews is like, you know, asking questions. I can do a whole video of asking questions about Golden Beautiful. Anyways. So that's why he ends up at Finn's office and he's just overhearing talk, uh, Finn talking to Hope. Um, and Ben, you know, fills him in about Xander coming back and accusing Thomas of murdering Emma. <clears throat> and so, learned a little more about Emma. So, she was an intern and Hope was responsible. She, she, Hope says that she just felt responsible for her because, you know, it was her intern and stuff. And it was really tragic. This young girl with so much ahead of her and everything. It's like, oh. I was like, so, so sad. I was like, watching the flashbacks. I was like, yeah, she just looks so, so young. Like, wow, that sucks. Yeah, and then it makes me wonder about Luna. It's like, oh, no, Luna, get out now before you end up like Emma. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, Ben just tells Hope that she just basically dumped Thomas's ass. Get out while you still can. And I guess he doesn't notice the necklace. I don't know if it was very... I don't think about it. Was it that visible? Yeah, because she had the... The the dress wasn't that low cut, but it was still, you know, some some space in there. You know, not as low cut and open like my tank top. (laughs) But he's like, you know, you've done some wonderful stuff, you know, with your career and everything. Don't let, you know, Thomas bring that down. Get away from him now. (laughs) And it's just like... Looking like, mind your business, fucker. Basically. But hope that is your soon to be stepbrother. You should definitely listen, to, not listen to him. You and Thomas are perfect together. Anyways, Thomas is already being a great brother. But anyway, at the uh, hope leaves, Thomas comes in. It's <laughs> looking at Finn. And Finn finds out that Thomas was eavesdropping. He's like, yeah, I was just caring what you were telling my future wife about me? <laughs> like, you really think that I killed Emma? I said, he's like, I really just wanted to come and, you know, talk to you, bro. You know, work things out. You know, we are brothers-in-law, so we shouldn't be fighting. And if it brings up, you know, you know, shouldn't be talking to your sister like that. You know, my wife deserves respect. And so I was like, oh, I wasn't yelling at her. We were just talking. You know, bro to sis. <laughs> And the way that Thomas was looking at Finn, it looked like Thomas was ready to beat his, <laughs> beat his ass. I'm just waiting for this fight. I just I have a feeling that Thomas and Finn are going to fight. But uh, but one thing I love about Finn is that he doesn't hide how he feels. <laughs> he just told Thomas, you know, as long as I live and breathe, you will not be with hope. And I was like, Finn, are you really trying to die right now? Because Thomas has that look like, okay, fucker, well, you're going to end up like Emma's ass. <laughs> That's what it looked like Thomas was trying to tell a fan. Like, oh, Lordy, what is Thomas about to do? But, um, yeah, so. <laughs> That's another case of being with somebody hating their <laughs> hating their um, family members. It's like, oh, Brooke doesn't like Thomas. Then look, Finn don't like Thomas either. I mean, rightfully so. I can understand not liking him, but 
if you say Thomas is dangerous as he is, it's not exactly somebody I want to resolve, you know. Because Thomas is like, he don't really care who loves you. I will still fuck you up. Kind of look. But, um, definitely makes it juicy. But then also makes, like, Ben, you know, why are you going so hard to protect Hope? I mean, it's, um, as long as I've been watching it, it doesn't really feel like, you know, Finn and Hope are all that close. I mean, you know, they're close with not wanting their parents together. But, you know, I don't really, never really saw them as friend friends. But Finn is a really good, is that, that really good guy that you could always count on. So I guess I could see where, you know, he's so worried about Hope and stuff. Which is understandable. Which also makes me wonder, you know, what Brooke is going to say when she finds out that what Xander has been telling everybody. So, yeah. Anyways, um, that was, you know, that was what mainly happened this week. But I got what I wanted. I wanted to see more of the connection between Bill and Poppy. And if you were talking about Poppy, she was so gorgeous in her dress. I was like a little off the shoulders. I was like, it didn't really have, you know, it was, it was plain, but it was, it was so cute. It was cute on her. You know, no kind of designs or anything, but her hair, beautiful. And I was watch, I was rewatch, I was rewatching the episode on my phone. I was wanting to rewatch something, and I was watching it on my phone, and it's just like real close up of Poppy's face and Luna's too. They have beautiful cheekbones. But anyway, Poppy, um, I totally missed how, um, Bill asked Poppy out, but that's fine. They, we'll just skip to the, let's go right to the date. I'm okay with that. Yeah, and she was, Poppy was just worried about going on a date with Bill. And I was like, don't go out, go out do with, um, Dollar Bill. I would love him to be my new daddy, but I really think the way that they're telling a story, it just makes it seem that, you know, fairly... Like, yeah, um, Luna is Bill's daughter. <laughs> That's what I'm like. But that was funny. RJ was talking about how much she don't like Bill. <laughs> it's like, oh, my cousin, uh, nobody likes Bill. Except my cousin, Will. But, you know, that's his um, dad, so he kind of has to like him. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But um, I was like, Brooke likes him. And your mommy likes him, and your auntie does too. They both ride, rode him a few times. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and it was funny. They're at Deacon's place, and Deacon, we still haven't seen Deacon and Sheila. It's been two months. <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of um, people are really happy not to see them. So mean. I need them back. I, you know, I would go crazy when they when they come back. But yeah, Bill just wanted to be there to mess with Sheila. But hmm, Hollis said that they weren't gonna. Um, Sheila and their Deacon was gonna be in, so I'm guessing they're still celebrating the New Year. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so we had to sit through Liam for two seconds. So Liam got the Wyatt treatment uh, with having to sit there. <laughs> Listen to um Bill's lady issues or whatever. Uh, so I'm surprised Liam didn't say anything about Poppy's name. He can't have nothing to say with that shitty ass name. Anyways, he accident and Bill got to sit down and talk to Poppy. So it was like um he but he did some research and was able to get Poppy's number. <laughs> it was trying to remember where you knew it from. So they met at a festival. The Golden um Golden Bridge Festival. Golden Gate Bridge Festival. Something along those lines. I don't know if it was Golden Gate Bridge. I remember it was Golden Something because they were talking about San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, San, San Diego. And, um... They were just sitting there talking. He's like, oh, I remember. You're just there, just dancing. It was just looking so beautiful. I just couldn't take my eyes off of you. I was like, ooh, Dolly Bill already laying down the charm. Ooh, he already trying to hook us, um, <laughs> hook in another one. 
Because I'm skip the low getting to onto the real thing, a real woman, Poppy. And I was just talking about her daughter and stuff and how it was like twenty some years ago and I'm like, hmm twenty some years ago. Sounds about Luna's age range. So yeah. Um <laughs> I would be more surprised if um, Luna is not Bill's daughter. But Bill never asked Poppy out. He was like, could Luna be my daughter? And he, ne he never actually asked that. Yeah, and Poppy's like, oh yeah, I remember you. Yeah, I do remember you. <laughs> you know, smiling and bashful. And when they're out dating, Luna's talking to RJ about not knowing her dad and stuff. And she never met him. She's like, no, it's not like he just, you know, up and left one day and never came back. I never met him. I never knew him. Can't miss what you don't know. Um, what, what you, you know, don't know and never experience. I'm like, that's true. So that's just even more. But, huh. Are they really going to do that or not? Hmm. But they're making it pretty obvious that, though. And I wouldn't be against it. Usually I don't really like recon family members, especially recon kids. But, you know, I'm not a long-time Bold and Beautiful fan, so I don't know the history of Bill. And also, I was wondering, how long has Bill been a character on the show? Because I know Don, who plays him, used to play on Restless back in the day when I started watching, when I was watching it. And so, you know, if you watched my earlier <laughs> reviews, I kept calling him Brad. Over, I kept calling him Brad. And finally got used to calling him Bill. So it's like, did Do Don originate the role of Bill or did somebody else play Bill first? So that's another thing I need to research. Because <laughs> if he originated the role and he just popped into town right after this festival and stuff, or no, because Brad was still on there into the uh, mid two thousands, uh, Young and Restless into the mid two thousands. So, you know that would have been years. So he would have came in years later, a few years later than because uh, uh, making Luna with Poppy and Callie. <laughs> but um, I really. I think they really had some chemistry there. It's really sexy, and Luna just had this beautiful smile looking at him, and Bill, he always looks sexy every time he smiles or on my screen. And at the poppy, go for him. Lord, get that back child <laughs> Do it, girl. <laughs> and I wonder, does Poppy know who Luna's dad is? Because um, Luna was saying to RJ that uh, she never mentioned her dad's name or where she met him or nothing. So it's like, does Poppy know who it is? And she just didn't say, or, you know, just more mysteries to watch. Well, this one, I don't have to go back in the past to figure out what happened. <laughs> it was just a new story. So, I only have one thing to search about, and that is this Emma girl. But she's very beautiful, too. I forgot who that other girl was in the flashbacks. Let me read about that, too. So, uh, that's my homework for the week. And I promise I'll actually do it so I can talk about it next week. <laughs> and not just keep asking questions. But I'm going to shut up. Because that's all I had to say about this week's episodes. And I'm really hungry, too. My tummy is saying, go feed me. Okay, I'm 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 gonna shut up. Thank you for watching this week. Watching this week, this review. Thank you so much if you're still around. Am <laughs> I rambling? I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week. And if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos, both beautiful other soap opera videos, whatever. And share this video, even if it's just make fun of the fact that I ask more questions than I actually talk about what happened this week. And if you want to know what I thought was the best, the worst, the winners and the losers of not just the Bold and Beautiful, but Days Are Lives and General Hospital also, check out the weekly highlight show. I'll be posting that Sunday afternoon. And if you watch watching this after, in Sunday afternoon, then you'll see it linked at the end. If not, just come back and check it out because why not anyways i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend 
um, very first weekend of 2024, and I'll see you guys here next week, maybe, hopefully, because why not? Love you guys. Bye.